Hey guys, good morning. What's going on? Uh, I am going to review something today. I thought I reviewed a long time ago, but I actually haven't done an individual review on this top seller. Absolutely top seller, uh, inexpensive perfume, which is called Asaro's Chrome. Okay, so I want to do an individual take. Yesterday I was looking at it because yesterday I ordered two samples from my brother Bilal Sharif Bhai. <coughs> so uh, I am going to be reviewing two other flankers from this line. I have reviewed quite a few Azaros actually. Chrome line at least I did. Um, fragrances like uh, these ones are remained with me. Chrome Sport, Chrome Aqua, Monior one. Then uh, Chrome Intense, very beautiful juice. And then my favorite is always, this is Azaro Chrome Legend. So I also reviewed, um, like think, uh, Azaro Chrome, let me show you actually. This is what I did review. I did a battle between uh, this one, Chrome and uh, Nautica Voyage. I also did Chrome Legend and then Chrome Special Edition 2019. Um, Chrome, there's one more, Chrome United. So you guys can actually, yeah, here it's uh, United. Yeah, United one. So anyway, so I have done actually quite a few Chrome fragrances, but let me do the original full on take, okay? And this fragrance has a lot of uh, mixed reaction from people, honestly speaking. So I don't know where my packaging is, like boxes, because it has been for a long time with me. So this is basically how the bottle looks like. Very thin kind of bottle, like this. Uh, so do not put it at the edge of the table, because if it moves a little bit, it will fall and break. So very nice looking bottle, basically. It's a thin, uh, yeah, this is how that looks, if you haven't seen. And they got this the typical chrome cap, which is present in many other chrome fragrances. So it looks basically like up top, looks like uh, metal steps, you know, or a metallic chromish design. I think this is plastic basically, just painted uh, uh, chrome color, okay? Very nice touch, sort of, you also get this on the box. And the atomizer looks uh, like this. And the juice guy is mild, light blue, like aquatic fragrances. Sprayer works really fine. Really, really good sprayer, atomizer. So this perfume uh, comes in many bottle sizes, by the way. 30 ml, 50 ml, 100 ml, I think there's massive 200 ml as well. And this uh, perfume, I think the sticker and everything, I don't know where my sticker is at, but there you can, you're supposed to find under the bottle. I don't know, maybe it just faded away or something. Yeah, anyway, so the fragrance, uh, it's priced around like maximum you pay is 30 bucks for 100 ml. I guess that's the price range. So this, you can call it cheapy or inexpensive perfume. So many people call this like a soapy scent, okay? Some people call it metallic -y scent. Some people call it an aquatic fresh scent. Uh, or some people call it a floral scent. So what is it actually all about? Why is it a top seller? That's what we're going to look at. If you are not interested, if you already know about this fragrance, you don't have to watch it. But I just want to cover it anyway on my channel. So this fragrance is um, one of the best summer scents ever, you know, because it has a freshness, it has a lasting power. Uh, it has a very nice smell to it. Many men like it and it's affordable. Those are the major reasons why people love this perfume a lot. That's why it sells a lot. You can find it heavily discounted. Do not pay retail for this, by the way. So one other thing I have to mention, I have to mention is my fragrance guru, Mark. Uh, I actually haven't l learned as in like per se, I was a student or something, but I take him as my guru because I started my channel based on his you know, uh, work and I was inspired. So he absolutely hates this fragrance. If you just go and check Chrome Robe 08 review, he absolutely <laughs> thrashed it. <laughs> so, thrashed it or thrashed it, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this perfume, I'll let you know what I think of it. So first time I tried Chrome, uh, let me spray this on my hand. Okay, my hand is empty. Uh, let me go. Let's just go on spray. This is actually very strong and very sharp. So be careful what, you know, like how much you want to spray. Many people go trigger happy with it. I don't think that's a very wise idea because this can get very cloying very fast. So Chrome in Bangladesh, I tell you, it's very popular one. Like Nautica Voyage, this, Voyage, this one, uh, Versace Purum, Aqua Digio, uh, CK1, Ludice, Dolce & Gabbana, Light Blue Purum, if you love those, this is pretty much in that genre. So it's a very uh, citrusy, lemony opening lemony aquatic blue opening okay and it has this metallic tone i don't know what's causing that but it has a very sharp crisp uh, metallic blue citrusy opening and some people may associate this with a soapy uh, kind of a smell because when you actually use soap like uh, say body shower gel or something those 
sometimes smell like this so people call it a soapy scent so when you think of soap soap sometimes can be sandalwood other soapy that's like more powdery uh this one is not like this fresh clean crisp kind of a like a blue shower gel sort of a feel <coughs> sorry so this perfume actually perhaps is the reason why this trend of uh, fresh clean see this i sprayed this and it's already disturbing my nostrils because it's so strong and when you actually have cold and flu you have to be very careful not spraying this too much so uh, i bought this first time in 2015 or 16 i believe a small little bottle 30 ml bottle and i went through i used to carry it everywhere in my car and it's something like ck1 i didn't care for it that much i mean i didn't love it it was okay but i did not get the best performance out of it but i got very upset because of that because people say this is a beast mode performer in malaysia perfumes don't usually last on me even chanel dior whatever you use even dior somehow disappears very fast but this perfume when i used it i felt like you know it's gone pretty much in two to three hours you know but i brought it here in bangladesh you know like uh i bought it sorry i bought the big bottle 100 ml my 30 ml i finished and left it there so I did review this few times with few other fragrances, check them out also, but this perfume I bought a full on bottle because I'm like, what the hell, let's just have it chrome in my collection because it's such a top seller. So this is uh, something I would recommend to students, uh, people who are looking for a very good budget fragrance for summer and it's a classic smell, everybody knows it, so it's safe. Everybody either will compliment you, but no one's gonna say bad things about it, okay? And this kind of perfume, major public out there, they, they know it's like an, very big upgrade or step up from your body sprays from axe you know like your deodorants to something more premium let's say you know like in a full bottle edt uh, formation uh, okay so this perfume i think uh, it's a great office scent it's a great after shower uh, after gym after sport or something to keep in your bag like if you have a 30 ml keep it in your gym bag or go with like two sprays you'll smell great in the gym but do not go like five six sprays everybody will be disturbed by it it really is potent you know i tell you one thing it has this sharpness and if you put too much it turns sour like ludice you know ludice simiake those kind of perfumes yeah it has sort of like this vibe but i'm not saying this is like same you know ludice it has those kind of uh, frosted blue uh, cooling sort of uh, feel from this so the next thing these are the part where many people do not like it and including me at times i do not uh, appreciate it that much because of those florals it has those white florals that pops up and that florals can be with mixing with that chrome metallic sharp notes with that aquatic blue uh, it can be a bit too much to handle so if you're not fan of florals perhaps you don't want to get it but i have seen this many many houses they have in their washroom or the shower they have this in their cupboard and <laughs> they have this perfume common many places so this one definitely is a top seller <coughs> sorry so the price point and the performance these two things and that familiar dna blue dna i think made it a top seller basically like ck1 adg uh all uh, like isi miyake ludice this is why the price point actually is very affordable still you can get uh sets with it i think shower gel a lot of products with this okay so overall chrome I would not say this is uh, my most favorite uh, summer fragrance. Like I have Versace, Purim, Sauvage, ADG, Prada Lom. In terms of smell, I prefer those. But if you talk about strictly price point and consumer, uh, if it's going to be good for consumers, this is going to be good for mass public out there. You just need one fragrance that does everything for you. Even it lasts fine in cold weather. So like uh, 12 months, you can use this perfume. Hot weather, cold weather. It smells really, really nice. Uh, uh, there is some sort of like a green note somewhere there, but I cannot exactly detect. It almost feels like vetiver, but I'm not sure if it's there or not. But it has like jumble of notes, you know, like a lot of notes in this. So it's a synthetic one. So remember that this is not the most natural smelling like, oh, I'm by the seaside and I'm smelling like uh, Creed Aventus. <laughs> no, you're not going to get it from this. But uh, as long as you remember that you paid 30 bucks for it and you're getting like good performance and fresh, clean uh, all day, uh, then you should be able to appreciate this easily so overall the longevity projection our condition is pretty damn good i would say it's like 8.5 out of 10 in both category uh, this is one of the longest lasting but if you want even beast mode i think chrome legend is my favorite this is a whole different level this one is actually a very good winter scent winter freshy for the cold days so that one is an upgrade but that's getting a bit harder to find because it's discontinued so that one i gave it like around 10 this one, uh, overall, if you just talk about everything, I'll just give you like a, a average score, 8. 
and eight not being uh, getting it's not getting eight because it's my most favorite set i'm giving it because of the price point you get the get the value the performance the smell is very safe and it can be like a crowd pleaser everybody would like it it's very safe set so overall masters you know this is a good fragrance to get so try it out first get a sample or sniff it in the shopping mall and see if it works on your skin if you like it then only buy do not blind buy chrome it could be a bit tricky so that's my review on azaro's chrome i'm just glad i could cover it and finish it hopefully you guys already know what this is all about but that's my sentiment towards the perfume as per the value goes but if you ask me strictly how much would i give it uh, from my perspective like if i rate it for me i'll give it 7 out of 10 because the smell and everything i have better fragrance in my collection take care guys have a nice day i will review a few other fragrances later today see ya bye bye